Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are in DOSBox, as you can see. And maybe some of you remember already what the uh, topmost line means. It will be nostalgia poor as we start a new Let's Play series. Uh, and it will be the game. Uh, is it still there? Yes. Command Detroit. Yes, let's start the game. And it might be really silent. Uh, if it is too silent, oh yes, the nostalgia is real. Uh, if it's too silent, then uh, I shall uh, probably put some automation music to it. Um, Detroit is one of the main inspirations for automation, of course. And let's see if I do get a mouse pointer in here. Yes, yes, I do. All right. So um, let's play automation 0.01, basically. <laughs> Welcome to Detroit. Detroit is a uh, classic many of you will know, um, at least if you are as fucking old as I am, uh, then uh, yeah, that that is a game you played back in the DOS days or in the Windows days when you were kind of in the mood for a car tycoon game. And Detroit is one of the first of its kind. There was a uh, competitor to this one as well, uh, that is Old Timer, or Motor City, it's called. And these were released in, uh, was it 1994 and 1993? Is that a year? Or maybe one later each. Uh, not quite sure. But anyway, we will attempt to play through this game and see what kind of concepts, design concepts and stuff they had and where the game is just super limited and shallow and, and shit. And nostalgia, uh, the nostalgic lens through which you view this title today, uh, yeah, if you take it off, it's it's not, not that good a game. It's actually pretty horrible. But um, it was amazing back in the day. I played it a lot back in the day. And I wonder if it's still as fun today. If you've played Automation and um, yeah, other car tycoon games. There are not that many out. Gear City, for instance, is out. And Gear City is much closer to uh, what Detroit was from a... Like, just from a mechanic standpoint. Uh, when it comes to the car, it's it's much more tycoon focused than automation is, which is much more technical fo focused and actual car design focused. So let's start a new game, and we shall make it. Uh, I remember the game to be too easy on medium, so uh, why not start a hard run, and we shall be human. I am human. Yes, I am human, and. Um, which territory do we want to play in? I remember the only territories that actually made sense were northern, northeastern USA and was it southwestern? Can't even remember. Uh, anyway, so northern Europe is of course an option as well, but they don't have many cars to sell, so you would have to open offices in the US really quickly and then transport over your cars to sell them there. And that is costly, so you make less of profit. But I think let's let's just go with the classic standard location as a start, and play from there. Company, um, we shall call it Automation Inc. Yes, there we go. And our model is called the Valor because the first cars you're going to sell are all luxury cars. Nothing else will sell. This game is entirely turn-based, which makes a perfect sense because, um, yeah, well, I mean, the months is what matters, not seconds, right? And uh, that that is a good gameplay decision, a game game design choice, I would say, uh, for a game like this, tycoon games especially, because things like uh, reports and so on come in monthly anyway, and unless you have a good reason for making it more granular uh, there really is nothing that tells you to not do it like this so all good and fine and we have a nice little reasonably modern menu down here with a supreme icons just look at their resolution isn't that fantastic uh, 
Yes. So, um, lots of tutorial here, as you can see. That was the game was made back in the day where they had game manuals. So it doesn't have to explain itself, but it's pretty self-explanatory, especially if you've played it before. So our first thing we do is, let, well, let's see. Um, maybe sales, marketing, um, research new parts. No, we don't have anything. Design a car model. Yes. Let's take a look here. All right, yes, uh, <laughs> the good old days, the good old days. We've had so many people come to us asking us to implement exactly this kind of design system, like where you choose a front, a middle and a rear of the car. That is not possible if you're dealing with actual 3D models. It's super easy if you have 2D sprites. You can just make sure that they all connect to the same spot. But if you have uh, like things like morphing and uh, shaders going on and stuff, the, 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 the cut would be very apparent and uh, jarring. So uh, no, no, that doesn't work. But here we have our supreme luxury vehicle and it is called the Valor, I assume. Um, family sedan Valor Luxury, yes. So we have our first luxury car and it has a handbrake and a four cylinder engine with 447 cc. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so um, our first car is already there. Uh, that's an interesting decision for of them to, to have a first car and I think it's... I, I don't quite know what I should think about it. It has advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that even novice players who don't quite know how to start out, they will already have a car that people or that that the game knows works. So they will have sales at the start. Um, so that's a good thing. On the other hand, people don't really learn to design cars. The car design process in this game is slightly less advanced than in automation. Uh, let's make a new car. So now we have... Uh, where's where's the slot shown? Uh, body setup is this? Have we... Previous? Oh, oh, oh no, there it is. Okay, good. So next. Yes, that's empty. Cool. Um, so here we can select... That's the car design, the whole car design that is to it. Uh, all that's to it. So let's see. Make a luxury car. Yeah, front seven, uh, six. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Yes, so much pixel art in this one. Uh, okay, middle. No. Uh, what was our first one? This this is actually pretty cool that you can go back and forth. So previous. Ah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Next. Oh no, it's all gone. This is almost like automation in the in the bad old days. So now uh, let's go six and then the big one, this one, I think this fits more more people in there and then um, make uh, bo body, no, no, what, oh, oh yes we could select different types, right, 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 body, 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 hmm. Should we make another car? I think we're only selling... Uh, yeah, we should only sell luxury cars at the start. So, no, no, let's not put this in, in production or anything. But we have some other things to do, because in this game, <laughs> you design your cars and they are ready to put in the factory straight away, because that is so realistic. It does make sense from a gameplay point of view, of course, because, uh, well, who... Who wants to keep track of all the timing and stuff in development, right? That's just... It's just uh, such a nuisance to uh, deal with all that. But on the other hand, we do have to... Available 99 employees... 29. We have 29 employees. What are they actually doing? Let's check out our factories. So we do have 20k. And I think we do want to have... Mm, so we have in the sales office here. Let's open the mega menu. The mega menu. <laughs> this is. This looks like, like uh, 
programmer UI design. <laughs> Just slap those values anywhere. It's like <laughs> they are all the way at the buttons here. And uh, they are all the way up here somewhere. It doesn't really make sense. And then there's this big list. Why? Why? Why, guys? Why? Why did you put it there? There's no ordering to it whatsoever. It's like all just slapped on the screen somewhere. Who thought this was good design? But then again, this was the old wild western days of game design, so uh, I don't really blame them. People bought it and liked it. And clearly it didn't keep uh, people enjoying, uh, enjoying these classics from en actually enjoying them. Uh, although, when you get back nowadays to them, it's like, what the fuck were they thinking? Okay, we are selling the Velo at $700, it seems. I really do want to make more of them though and ship into more regions. For that we need a sales office, an additional one. And uh, let me um, get one, I guess. So we go to the sales and factories. So I probably click on this and then uh, race factory level open office. Yay, we opened an office. I hope there are actually people there. I don't know. So, um, do we want to produce more cars now? I guess we do. Uh, yeah, let's let's have them in the mega menu. Let's assign them if they aren't assigned. Oh, no, they are assigned already. But we can put more into here. Let's hire 31 workers and then see how it, how it all pans out. Also, what we... Well... Reports are available next month. Okay, uh, we do need the personnel office and hire uh, 31. Oh yay, keyboard input. Uh, is this actually 30? Who thought of that as a good idea? Like, yo guys, yo guys, let's let's put black text on on a dark blue background. Yay, because everyone can read it. I I can hardly see it from like half a meter away from my screen. Is this actually 31? I think it is. All right, yeah, let's let's put this in. Okay, so now we have uh, we have 60 employees. This, uh, sounds good. Uh, do we want to hire more technicians? Nah, not not in the first round. Um, not the first month. So if we go back here now and select this, then yeah, in the mega menu that should be should be all here. Okay. Uh, assign all the workers. Oh, red. Red. Oh, no, no, it's awful blue again. All right, 30 people. Yes, 30. Where, where's my mouse cursor? Uh, oh, the mouse cursor is gone. You don't have a mouse cursor once you're writing that in. Okay, so enter. Good. And let's assign another one here. Assign workers one. Yes, that worked. Cool. So now we just need to make sure that this one's actually sold everywhere. And how do you do that? I assume this is, ah, here, one price, one model, what? Uh, single price, then this one is price per model, I guess. So let's put it at 750 bucks. And uh, done. L let's just ch double check if we are now actually selling here or supposedly selling. Uh, office details. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are selling. Okay, cool. Uh, supply line, Northeastern. US. Okay, that's working. I hope. Uh, and yeah, and, and no, not end the month. We need to get to research and assign some some fools to the research. Open research panel. Mm, engines, handbrake. I think the first one was cooling, right? So, uh, uh, oh, oh, there's the pop up. Yes. Uh, so we assign everything. Does this one work? Oh yeah, 18. It's really quick too. Cool. So 18 are assigned to cooling. Let's go ahead with this one. And there is very, very little feedback on what you are actually doing here. I mean, no one knows what this means. Like, what what are they working on? How long would it take? Uh, like, what is the benefit? And so on. So nothing there. But I think these were all things that were described in the manual, to be fair. Oh, all good. All good. Let's let's roll with it. And marketing concepts. Uh, we don't need marketing yet. I think they have a base level setup. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was all good. So uh, marketing list. 
Magazines? Marketing list? Let's take a look here. Territories? Territory? Marketing reports of East? Totals? Oh yeah, we have some basic marketing going on. Okay, is this back? Done? Return to game? Yeah, I guess. Um, so it's time to end the turn, I would think. Let's end the turn! No, uh, let's end the month! Yes. Okay, we uh, did all that. We assigned, we opened, and bank, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes! Let's see if it worked. And... Oh, shit. We have sold absolutely nothing in Southwest US, so maybe there is no population there yet. <laughs> or no one who wants to buy luxury cars. Maybe it was just too expensive too. Um, so we have lost lots of money. No, no surprise there. Uh, let's check the administration and just see what's going on. All right, um, by model, let's take a look. We did sell in the Northwest. Why? Oh no, I didn't assign a model to the line. And we sold nine, so now we had workers working there and they weren't doing anything. Oh, now that is uh, convenient. So let's go to the mega menu. You guys were probably shouting about that at your screens. Um, we shall make it better. We shall improve our performance. Let's go to the mega menu and actually assign a model to it. So idle, nope, um, model. There we go, the valor, yes. Okay, so now we're producing and paying workers. So let's get another one going. And... You have gained, Ooh, you have gained. we're just about breaking even here. Okay, not too bad though. Uh, let's generate a report by model and see. Oh yeah, I think we can produce a few more. So let's hire a few more workers and use another line of production. Another 30 workers hired and uh, let's call it done. Do we want to hire more of these? Uh, not quite yet. We, we do want to have a little bit of extra, uh, extra profits before we uh, start investing heavily into research. And let me check another thing. Reports. Uh, model comparison, I think it was, and I want to check if we have good pricing for... How do we check that? Uh, like this? Oh yeah, 800, 700. We can up the price a little bit. That's good news. Let's do all that in, not the administration, but the mega menu. And have another line as well. So mega menu. With the uh, <laughs> your high chat all over the screen, and we up the costs uh, to mm, let's go to 790. There we have it, and assign a model. Use this one, and assign 30 workers. All of them. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that should. Be taking care of all the demand I hope so month end yes we shall end the month and you've gained two thousand six hundred dollars that was a lot of cash back then and we are out of stock and we have sold everything well, that's kind of good news um, I think we might be interested in producing even more Let's get more lines going. Uh, administration, hire even more personnel, and see when we uh, when we max out. Uh, we hire another 30. And see what comes out of it. I hope they are also selling. Uh, uh, auto industry, yes, who? King of the Hill, leading a pack is auto industry this month. Okay, auto industry is actually their name, cool. Oh, fuck! Okay, that didn't go well. Uh, that didn't go well at all. Do we have any money left? Oh, yes, yes, 600 bucks. So we overproduced like crazy, it seems. But let's check the pricing first. Maybe they all lowered. No, we are, we're in the middle of the pack. That's all right. We just overproduced, it seems. 
Oh yeah, 16 in stock and only 13 sold. 13, 7, uh, yeah, that, that's too much. That is too much. Oh, yeah, yeah not good. Uh, maybe we need to go to the bank and just open up another... Yeah, let, let's try that. Let's uh, go aggressive on this and and just continue with the production, but up the uh, the offices. Oh, 11%? What the hell? All right, loan. Uh, loan amount, 4,000? That's nothing, nothing. I don't want to loan, that's ridiculous. Um, welcome to the bank, well done. You are useless. You are entirely useless. So we do have to shut down production. Uh, all right. Um, let's first free them up and then fire them. All right, that is unfortunate, but uh, nothing we can do about it. Let's end the month and hope that it will go better this time around. Maybe it was just a bad month. You have gained $300 of <laughs> thank. Thank you. How wonderful. Uh, you're not getting out of this hole anytime soon, it seems. Oh, now they are start starting to sell. Hmm, we have gained 2,700. And maybe another month. Let's go another month. Come on, we can do it. Oh, no, no, it's back to, back to how it was before. How is our competitor, uh, how are our competitors doing? Still the same. I don't really care, they don't change right now, so that's all fine. And how much do we s do we have in stock? Still 22, almost a month worth of production. And the bank still doesn't want to lend us anything, I would assume. Um, loan information, loan, let's see, 2,000. Oh no, now we can get something. Let's um, get 10,000 and open up another sales office. And I hope I'm correct in assuming that the southwest of the US would be buying something as well. So open up an office. Yes. And 11% uh, per annum. Ah, uh, that, that's okay. That's not that much cash. So it's basically 100 bucks per month we, uh, we get in interest. It should be fine. And now we need to set up such that they are also selling there in the Mega Menu. Uh, let's just do it model and 800. All right, let's end the month. And uh, auto company. Oh, look, in such a competitive industry, we'd like to commend the auto company Automation Inc. financially. They have done remarkably well this month and have succeeded in breaking their own profits record. Which weren't very high, by the way. Um, yes, we have. What? What? Look, the southwest of the US was amazing. Uh, that was the one we should have taken from the start. I think I'm going to hire back a few workers, if you don't mind. Or, mm, first, open up another office. Um, how many? How many cars do we have left? I don't think we have much stock left right now. Um, model, 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 model. Let's take a look. Oh, only six. Oh shit. We, ooh, yeah, yeah. We we need to up production. We need to up production a lot. Uh, uh, how how do we do that? Oh, maybe I should up. Maybe I should up the factory level instead. And that would amp up production as well. Uh, but that costs 20k. No, we can't do that. Uh, Northwestern Earth. Uh, so let's open up another office. Yes. And then mm, let's hire new workers. All right, there we go. And this should be good. End the month. Let's see. Um, leading the pack in the automotive industry. This month is Automation Inc. Yes, we are always leading the automation industry. Uh, exactly. Largest profits of any of their competitors. And we shall be watched by uh, those guys. And it seems like we didn't get any sales in the other parts of the world. And that might be due to us um, actually not having enough cars to sell. 
take a quick look. I don't think we have any stock. Uh, no, we don't. All right, so we are underproducing. And that means I want to contact my bank and get a few more bucks to update our factories. Um, let's go to the bank. Quickly. I need to um, loan more. Uh, another 3,000? Let's make it 4,000. And now we shall update the factory so we get more output. Um, lower race. Race factory level. Yes. Okay. Let's hope this works out and doesn't bankrupt us. There we go. And carry out Manfend. Yes. And... Auto industry. Oh, yay! Okay. Still good. Oh! Oh, nice. Yes. And now we sold something in Southeast US as well. Uh, did we get anything else? Do we have models over? Oh, yes. Eight in stock. Now that's fine. I would say that's fine. Our office here is wasted, of course. But uh, so Northeast and Southwest is where we need more. So let's open up another office. Yes, exactly. Uh, because for selling 20 cars, you, you kind of need two offices, right? <laughs> it's quite ridiculous. But maybe it maybe it works. Uh, let's uh, just end the turn, end the turn, and end the month. And we have gained lots of things, but sales, of course, haven't increased. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, we do want to pay back the bank, I think. That that would be a good move. Uh, administration, so that we don't forget it and pay loan all the time on this one. Current loan is 13k. Repay everything. Oh no. <laughs> Can you just type something and it sets it to the max? Payback amount? Uh, you can't... Uh, you have to... That, that wouldn't be hard to code, guys. Like, if number larger than uh, then then uh, maximum low current loan, then set to maximum loan. Okay, uh, uh, that was super hard back in the day, back in the 80s. Uh, no, 90s. This is 90s stuff. What the fuck? Come on, you can do that. How long would that take a programmer? Like, three minutes? Payback, yes, I want to pay it back. What? What is your problem? Oh, that's... Oh, and now... It doesn't delete digits. I, what the hell? This This is... This is beautiful UI design. Absolutely beautiful. All right, there we go. Now we're... Now we're good. All right. And uh, let's get rid of this month. After paying down all our debts. Ooh... That's some good sales. 70,000. Let's do a little comparison to our closest competitors. Let's see. Um, profit loss report. Is this the... No, that's that's this one. Okay. Uh, how do we see our competitors? Compare? Maybe? Yes, profits. Yeah, we're doing really well, it seems. They have more... Uh, expenses, income, and uh, we're pretty small compared to them, but that's all good. Profit minus 3k. Hmm. I think now is the time to really amp up our research department, though. Otherwise, we will start dropping behind, and we definitely don't want to do that. So, we hire everyone. Hire all the people. That just costs us a few thousand extra. So, we do that. Tech... Assign technicians. Yes. Um, we do want to assign them to... Maybe suspension? A few? Like 20-ish. Done. And assign two more here. And assign all the rest to... Bodies? Nah. Maybe new engines. Luxury vehicles and stuff, and maybe we can make a super sporty, sporty engine. I, I don't know which one you get next. Uh, a <laughs> four-cylinder. That's probably inline four, seven hundred forty-seven. Yes, that's probably that. So uh, free no assign all the rest. 
there we go. Excellent. Ah, oh, such in-depth research. Uh, well, automation isn't much better right now, but it will be better. Uh, and and better UI especially. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at... Where, where, where are we right now? Um, administration. Return. Ah, it's January. Okay, so we just played the first year. Oh, that took a while. So let's speed through a little bit and see what happens within a uh, year. I don't think we have to design anything new because there's no new tech. Why would you design a new car? Also, there, there are no other types of cars that are relevant. So you don't need to design any anything new. Oh, now someone else leads the auto industry. But we still have gained 21,000. Oh, that's pretty big. And we have 40,000 now. Hmm. Maybe we should open up offices in Northern Europe and ship there. So open one office here. We do have one office there. Um, I don't think there would be anything anywhere else right now. Uh, Canada, not really. Um, so what do we do with this now? We do have to set a new price in the Mega Menu so that everyone gets it. And model price. Yes, 800. Let's see what the competitors take right now. Oh wow, they have amped up their prices. Uh, let's amp it up to, oh that's Northern Europe, Northeastern. Oh shit, we are, we're dirt cheap. All right, uh, maybe we should use that fact to just undercut the uh, competitors. We can make it slightly more expensive. I don't even know how this sales model works for for this. I think it was pretty ridiculous. Like uh, if you um, increase it one dollar too much, you sell exactly zero instead of like thousands of cars. I think this was in this game, or maybe it was in in old timer. I'm not quite sure. But in Northern Europe, we sure need to increase the sales price slightly because we have um, shipping costs, right? Uh, let's amp it up to uh, 950. And in the next month, I think we can uh, do a little factory expansion. Because then we can uh, just ship cars for, for cheaps, all the luxury cars for cheaps into uh, the whole of the US and Europe. And uh, I I have to be, uh, be frank here, I, I remembered this game to have loads of more regions than it has. I This is all, all South America, then uh, yeah, well, Canada, US in four regions, it makes kind of sense, it was the biggest car market, and especially in the early days. And, but then, it's like nothing here. On the other hand, you have to consider that making a UI with so few pixels is basically impossible to, to click. I mean, these, these are pretty small already, especially the US regions here. And it would be micromanagement hell to have more regions than that. I mean, in automation, we have the luxury of having more regions because they remain clickable from, <laughs> from a distance. You still want to see them all in one screen, that's for sure. So let's uh, advance the final month before we call it a day. Able to see mo more air-cooled engines. Oh! All four leading automakers now have the ability to manufacture vehicles that feature air-cooled engines. Look and see. Oh, that is cool. So we've gained 31,000. Oh shit! Oh, that's big. Uh, and I think we are selling more now than we actually produce, so we have to up our factory level once again. Or just add more lines, but adding a little bit to our factory level certainly makes sense when you're running that high of profit. Makes you more future-proof. And I think this concludes today's uh, first episode. I hope you have enjoyed this nostalgia flashback and see you guys next time.